Hey everyone, it's Toronto Thai back here again this week um, on this very, very sunny, very hot, very busy day here at the park. Um, they have uh, planted all the flowers for the uh, floral flag, although all these people are kind of standing in the way at the moment. But, uh, yep, summer has begun. Alright, I may just have a terrible memory, but wasn't, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the um, thing at the center of Spinnovator was red last year and did not have a boat. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's just another uh, little added detail they, uh, they did during the off-season. Alright, you know it's a busy day in May when Wild Beast is starting to use their extended queue and the icy stand has a line. Well, this sign is looking a little more medieval than it has in the past and looks quite a bit more medieval than Fun Shop and Funnel Cake. Hopefully these signs get a little bit of a makeover soon as well because I really like that. So it seems that the uh, VR experience on Thunder Run was a little short-lived as it appears that this is just completely closed now. All right, now I found the poutine truck. Uh, it was not here before. Um, maybe it was here last week. But yeah, just right in front of Flight Tech. All right, guys, I saw no sign this week um, saying keep off the grass. So here we are on the grass, on the hill, looking across at all the uh, nice rock work over there, the pathway there. And yes, I'm going to be going over there shortly to check it out. And by the looks of things, we're gonna get right next to that butter. Finally able to get up close to the, uh, to the fence here. And it looks like they filled in this potted plant with, uh, with mulch as well. Um, at the beginning of the season, it was not filled. So, yep. All right, here we are again in our uh, former uh, favorite spot. Um, next to the Coca-Cola refreshment station here on the way up to Splashworks. And that's the pathway. Those are the new trees. And that's a new lamppost, which does not seem to actually have any lights on it yet. And because this tree is filled out, we can't really see that much more from here. All right, peeking behind the fence, uh, on the old Splashworks pathway. You can see they've got uh, quite a few vehicles, um, construction vehicles still on site. Uh, looks like they're still doing work here. And yeah, I'll keep you updated on everything that they're doing in this smaller isolated area. All right, now we're gonna walk along this new pathway, which the entrance already looks really, really nice. Um, taking advantage of the stones that were there from Skyrider's old exit. And post there. Again, no lights yet. Um, but it looks like they're, they're still working on, on some stuff. Wooden fences along this pathway, uh, similar to the ones along, you know, the uh, White Rock Canyon pathway and, and Timberwolf Falls, that whole area. Uh, on that side, then, they have two posts, two cross beams for part of the way, and then it goes down to one. On the side, it looks like they are only at one. Um, I feel like that's probably temporary. Maybe they just didn't have time to, uh, in, in the rush to get everything open for Splashworks, to put in the second beam here. Another lamppost. Another lamppost. And there's butter. And we're gonna get to walk right up next to this. All right. Can't say I've ever been this close to to a footer in progress before. And at the moment, it's full of water. So it's been here for a little while because uh, and and yeah, it's got. A, it's got a, is, is that normal for these to have? Holes in the center? I'm really not sure. 
I mean, I guess it is because uh, this one on the other side, close to the water, and this one here, both also have holes in the middle and are both also full of water. I mean, look at this. Standing right next to it. And there are the rocks. And there's another footer in the water there. And here's another one. And there's another one. With some extra metal in it. It looks like the beginnings of uh, what they've got on that one there. Not sure why it's not fully on there. Um, and then that one, right there. And Vortex going by. Fun times. I mean, I really, I can't say enough uh, how amazing it is that uh, they were able to get this close to these footers. That we're able to, um, yeah, stand right next to them and that they got, you know, all this rock work here done right next to the lake. We're so much closer than, uh, than we were before. Um, more footers back in this construction area behind this fence. Yeah, it does, it does actually look like they are doing work around Tiburua Falls. I'm not sure. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll see if I can get a closer look up there. It doesn't look like a oh, man. Everything else is this you is so amazing. We're standing right next to this litter, which is gigantic. This rectangular footer here. Oh my goodness, this footer is gigantic. You can see they've got another one right behind the fence here. But this one is absolutely massive. Entry into this area requires a lockout, apparently. Um, and those trees that were right next to the, uh, the pathway between the pathway and, and Skyrider are still here. So that's nice to see. Just that uh, thin line of them there. And we can't really see much more because of this fence here. All right, well, this whole area looks uh, very, very different now. They've put the lockers across from the change rooms. Um, yeah, and put again this nice wood structure with the uh, perforated tin roof and over here it appears that Lakeside Lagoon is not currently open but those are some new slides there that we can see for the kids Card pros. And this over here is the new pool. Which looks very, very nice. And where the lockers used to be, they've got a bunch of these, uh, you know, Muskoka chairs all over here. Um, yeah. I'm not sure exactly. Um, know why the pool isn't open at the moment um, in the kiddie pool but you know it's here the sign isn't quite put together and it looks like they've got a new uh, back entrance to this whole area all right I didn't really want to be that uh, creepy guy with the camera walking around the water park um, but uh, I just noticed that uh, you know all the uh, old courtyard structures back here and doing a comparison, it's definitely looking a lot nicer now. Um, and over here, we've got Dockside Grill, which is not yet open. And I'm pretty sure this is also new for this year. And will hopefully be open soon. 
Well, you really can't see much along uh, this pathway. Uh, they haven't put up a proper fence. Uh, still just the future enjoyment style fence. Um, all the paving stones around here are, are cracked from, I'm assuming from all the uh, heavy machinery that's been going through. The, uh, this fence is here and it does not have any sort of uh, gate on it because this is no longer where it, the lockers are. Alright, so although I do not smoke, I am standing in the uh, designated smoking area behind Timberwall Falls. And you can see, I put her there, put her over there, put her back there, a, a couple of footers right there in the middle of Timberwall Falls is turned around. And you can't quite see it, but there's also one right there. Well, now that I know where to look, I can definitely see uh, that footer there along the uh, maintenance pathway next to Timberwolf Falls. Still can't see the one uh, in the center of the turnaround there. And that'll about do it. Um, yeah, I, I don't know uh, what the future is going to be like for Timberwolf Falls. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, is something going to go over this ride or is it uh, is it gonna bite the dust along with uh, jet stream and all those former attractions so before I get splashed I'm gonna head out and avoid the rain have a good one thanks so much for watching be sure to comment down below for anything that you'd like me to cover in the next video Subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time I post new videos.